Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I think it's fair to say that today's, um, will I say, stories are very positive, are very, which is good for the vibe. I mean, there's Christmas tomorrow, so why not? Beyonce, through her non-profit Bay Good, continues to provide ways to help those in need during the COVID-19 pandemic. Phase two of the Bay Good Impact Fund, it would, would be providing $50,000 for those impacted by the housing crisis. Bay Good announced this on their website. The housing moratorium is set to end on December 26, which is the day after tomorrow, Saturday, resulting in mortgage foreclosures, foreclosures rather, and rental evictions. The nonprofit wrote in a press release that many families are impacted due to the pandemic that resulted in job losses, sickness, and over Overall economy turned down. I mean, well, downturn. The fifth, the five thousand dollars grant will go to a hundred individuals and families facing foreclosures or evictions. Receipts must be provided, and all necessary documentations from the A. NAACP should be provided as well. The online application opens in January 7, 2021, and funds will be reversed in late January. Round two will open in February. I'm saying all these things like as if no Nigerians can go and apply, but <laughs> just in case, <laughs> sha, <laughs> just in case, I remember thinking, oh, um, I wouldn't mind, though, eh? I just go and quickly send my. I just like, I don't even. I'm one under that uh, body of that she wants the documentation from. But it'd be really nice to just try to be like, listen, I'm a big fan, and I know you're not talking to. <laughs> I know you're not talking to people who are not living in America, but, but girl, I let me tell you about my currency. <laughs> my currency is not even in anything. So just even when you send small, that small will do a lot, a lot. to you. Like. I think it's really, really good. I think that initiative is necessary. Mm. Uh, it's quite unfortunate that we can't, we don't really have such a thing in Nigeria. And I, it's not because our our stars are not as generous. I think they're even doing their little thing. Mm. Like you still see a lot of pictures mm. coming about all their foundations. You still see things, but on this magnitude, it's a lot harder because, like I mentioned already, our currency is not that great. They haven't been able to earn that much, and we just don't have that kind of backing and support that we give um, American artists here in Nigeria. But I think mm. the thought is really good. I like that it's having a domino effect mm. as well. A lot of people are doing a lot more this Christmas because of COVID-19. Mm. Because now it's moved past just um, underprivileged children. I feel so like everyone, this year we're now all yeah, underprivileged. Uh, I'm everyone. telling you. Um, I, big shout out to Beyonce. You know, she, I don't know, this during this pandemic, she has been extremely wonderful. She's put out, like, I think this is a tour initiative to support people. And I think she's done absolutely well, you know, helping people out and all that. So big shout out to the Bay Good um, family for always, you know, thinking about people. You know, it just shows a level of selflessness. But like you said, it's not because our Nigerian celebrities do, do, do not have a good art or because they just don't want to do it. Uh, we don't have a good structure it's one secondly um a Beyonce will probably get sponsors you know all the people that share the same train of thought and they will probably want to join in and put some money in there yeah. you know and support people but when a Nigerian celebrity comes everybody will be like ah sis come they want mm. to use it too you know so you know that trust issues we have in Nigeria as well is yeah. another reason why you not see a lot of our stars getting support because yeah. how many people can you up with how much but do you think that there is space for improvement like away from even before COVID-19, do you think mm. that our our stars you usually give a lot, like they give back? Not a lot, mm. and just a few. Yeah. Even if I can count them on my fingertips, yeah. we have so many stars, but I can count the ones that give back. Yeah. You know, even supporting each other is a problem. Yeah. Do you understand? I they find so it difficult too. to support each other, not to talk of giving to people they yeah. don't even know. Do you understand? You see somebody that got featured on a song or is part of a movie, and it should be hard for you to put out the post that mm. say, this person dropped song. So how do you even want to give back? You know, it just shows the type of um mindset that Nigerians have generally is not just um you know celebrities, not a celebrity thing. It's just a lot of people in this part of the world do not really know how to show support. Yeah, no, they don't. I mm. think it's seen as either you're too weak or who has time for that. Mm. It's a very vicious like oh, where I were must you survive. When I was, yeah, mm. that vicious I must survive like be damned with my neighbor. We do that a lot, even with the way we use things. Like mm. if if it's government if if a government gives you a bus 
like the way you use the bus isn't just for you. Use it because you use it in a way where the next person beside be, after you okay. can use it. We don't really have that. Man, is I'm sitting down now. Whatever wants to happen now should happen now. If I want to draw on the board Doors, and yeah. stain it and use my use the sheets to it's clean my moi moi hand, it's not mine. It's not my problem as long as yeah. So I think mm. we definitely have that. The, uh, the the celebrities could do a lot better. I think the ones that we have though are really really good. Mm. Like I think they do really well. The two people that come to my mind. Unfortunately, I, not for, unfortunately, but fortunately, now also women that I know of all that I, I say, okay, these people really stand out. And theirs is even non seasonal, is um, what's her name? Tonto DK. Tonto DK is giving us a lot. And um, Chikaike, when Chikaike wants to give, she gives a lot. Um, but I know there'll be a lot more others. And David Doe as well. David Doe as well. I mean, I remember one time, this was ages ago, like maybe last year, Tommy, um, so, so Kumba was still on this table. And we were talking about whether or not, when you want to give, if you should say it out, like, mm. oh, I'm giving or not. And I've always said this, like, I, I don't understand the hypocrisy. You don't have to wait on the Lord to come and speak for you that you've given out. I think it's really good to share good things. Like, mm. it's good to say that, oh, like, I did this this Christmas. First of all, it's encouraging. Second of all, it's inspiring. So it's definitely not a bad yeah. thing to, to share. Not. Well, anyway, should we move on? Yeah, let's... Move. Like, oh, before we move on, who are you giving stuff to? Um, people no, I love. Like no, you. people I love. The people I love are already getting stuff from me. Eh, like what? Are we sharing mm. money, food, campers? I don't, know. I don't know. Just be on the list of people I love. You're there, so you probably get something. Hey. So don't worry. Wahala. You probably get something. Mm. No, I'm, I'm trying to... I don't, I, don't want, I don't want to procrastinate, which I'm really good at, but I've had like a box packed with clothes... And I don't like to give clothes that I'm not using it again. Mm. I don't like that, that mm. thing. Mm. Just clothes mm. that I know I can give out, if yeah. that makes sense. So they've been packed and everything, but I just don't know where to go, especially on the oh, island. Oh, a lot of the, the lot, a lot. Even I don't in know phase where to go. one, so I know, I know more than three places in phase one that you can go to. Oh, okay, and give we'll talk about it after yeah. the show then. Uh, All righty. Nigerian publicist Tony Payne has lamented over a lot of jealousy and evil people in her home country, which happens to be Nigeria. The former wife of Nigerian singer Nice took to her Instagram and a story to pray against meeting such people. In her words, there are a lot of evil-minded, envious people in this world. People who don't like to see others win, people who get frustrated by other people's achievements, people who will try to downgrade versus clap for your achieved goals. To me, this type of people are dangerous. A great number of them reside in Niger. Hey, wahala. May we not meet them, talk less, have an interaction with such people. Your thoughts. I think this just um, goes back to what we're speaking. I'm um, talking about earlier, where we're talking about Nigerian celebrities don't want to, you know, um, they don't support each other and all that. And it's not just about celebrities; that it's a Nigerian thing. Yeah. I think a lot of people out here are just very bitter. Mm. You understand? They just feel yeah. like what? Yeah. Uh, um, I'm I'm saying this. I'm, I'm in, yeah, in context. Um, a lot are just very bitter. I have met people that when you win, they celebrate your win like they won. Mm. And I've met people that you know that this person is really not happy about my win. Mm. But they'll be there to tell you, congrats, so nice one. Me. You, know, you can actually tell because you know how excited they can get yeah. about certain things. Yeah. And they're really not sure. But, but not to point fingers, right? They are mm. moods to things. So I've yeah, seen people that, true. yeah, it might not just be that mood where they want to be all yeah, yippee, jumpy, yippee. Jumpy. And they're like, yeah, so they may not just be there. And sometimes, just see, I don't even see that as a, haters are definitely necessary because they motivate you to do more do you understand mm. so I me mean, i even like them i like to see them you get <laughs> because as long as i'm winning do you understand it's yeah. a different case if i'm not winning and they are there and they are there to be seen down for yeah. do you understand as long as you all you see me do is win then we're good yeah i think it's uh, if, oh, okay and even to buttress on that i think there's also context to to your to how i react to your achievements quote unquote mm. there's some people that i just don't care about i'm mm. indifferent like i'm mm. not gonna be like oh my gosh why did you win that i'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh yay because i guess i'm it's just very impersonal to mm. me like i don't really care that much so there's also the ones where i personally feel like maybe they are should be happier no maybe their achievement is not even built on a good thing mm. like i've seen people who i know that these people's hands are not clean 
and I know what they did to get that so-called achievement. Sometimes mm. because I don't, because it's not my story to say, and I'm not close to that person, or even the way I got the information mm. was sort of like a gist or whatever. Mm. I, I because I cannot share it. I, sometimes I feel I, I feel like I'm in that category of people who might not be able to show as much excitement because I don't really, you know, I don't really trust your. So I, all I'm trying to say is that there's context to these things. But the point mm. is, if you are one of those people where you know this person has worked for it, they deserve it, and yet you are still. <laughs> And yet you're still being like, you know, dark towards mm -hmm. the person's celebration. I think you need to check yourself because happiness for me is contagious. Like if you, you should be happy. I think Max is being indifferent, but then to go past indifferent and enter I hate that. Mm. You're irritated. Yeah. I don't know about whether or not they live the um, they live, more more of them are here. I don't know about that. But she Yeah, said, I think it's a it's a global thing. It's not it's I, a I Nigerian so thing. It's global. There are people like too. that all over the world. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Too.